Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another adventure with the Traveling Mom Man. Um, today I am back in Rhode Island. Today we are in Newport. Last time I was here, I was doing the Rhode Island High Point, but we are in Newport today and we're going to see some different things today. Um, but right now we are at Fort Adams State Park. Uh, behind me, you see the ship, the uh, Commodore Oliver Perry. Um, pretty cool ship, but we're going to I'm um, going to tour the fort. Uh, we'll see a lot of uh, what this fort did, and um, it should so it should, be, it should be pretty cool. Uh, but let me show you this uh, this view, and then we'll get we'll get started here. Right, there's, the, there's my mom. My mom and I are on on a trip. But there's the uh, the Commodore Oliver House of Perry. Pretty scenic over here. Let's see. Uh, um, that's the bridge to, uh, I believe, Jonestown? I don't think we came over that bridge. And then the harbor. So this is right down the harbor. And then that's the fort right up there. That's where we're going. It's about 11.30. Our tour is, is at 12. Um, so we're learn we're learning about that, but it's taking long in this journey. It's a little bit different than what I usually do. It's not a hike or anything. It's uh, not doing any hikes this trip, so it should be pretty cool. So when you come, this is the visitor center. Fort's right over that way. Park's pretty neat. Of course, look out into the, the dock. There's the ship. Alright, tickets are $15 for the tour and $12 for seniors. Or if you don't want to do the full guided tour, you can take the self guided tour um, and just go at your own pace. But we decided to take the Guided tour for main reason is that they will go underneath and you always get to see the tunnels under the fort, which should be pretty cool. You gotta imagine a cannon. And those cannons did not fire cannonballs. Okay, they fired pieces of iron about the size of golf balls. And these three cannons, look at the angle of that wall. Those three cannons are responsible for killing everybody down there in the ditch. And everybody these three cannons are responsible for killing everybody down by the dumpster. There's no place outside the fort walls where you're not in interlocking fields of fire. Mm -hmm. Fort Ticonderoga can fit here, yeah. and Fort McHenry can fit over there. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they all had battles. They all had battles. Yeah, they had battles. <laughs> They're national parks. Mm -hmm. um, we had more cannons than all three of those put together. We're bigger than all three of those put together, and we're definitely cooler than all three of those put together. Yeah. But no battle, no history. These are going to be the uh, officers' quarters we're going into now. I think I want to be an enlisted man. Yeah, interesting. Well, you got to use your imagination. Yeah, it's very nice back then. Yeah. And the giveaway is that is that wall. It's five feet thick. It's obviously made for a cannon and eight musketeers, right? And they just put double hung windows on it. And window frames and fancy plaster work. Yeah. In New England, they call this uh, the mud room. Yeah. You take off your galoshes. Oh, 
looking out over top of Fort Adams near Gansa Bay. See the fort, it's pretty, pretty neat tour. It's a wedding down there. Nice place to get married. So right there you have three levels, so you have cans on top, cans in the middle, and cans on the bottom. Um, that was due to um, scare anybody from um, anybody from attacking the fort. This fort got the most appropriations. Remember when he got promoted? He became the chief engineer. And he, he gets to feed the baby. And this was his baby. And he, he, he got the appropriations here. A lot of the forts weren't even completed. It was getting expensive. But this one was. Now, the purpose of the crown is to protect the fort. <coughs> no, they have two oh. long doors. It's been freezing here in the winter, I can imagine. Yeah. Now you know that you don't usually take people in here. Wow, this is great. Don't post this on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> it's Stephen Tribble. All right. Wow, oh my God. Amazing. Oh my God. Walking down the tunnels. It's underneath the fort. <laughs> This is something you only get on the tour. Um, the self guard doesn't give you this, but yeah, this is pretty, pretty neat. This is how they defended the land section of the fort. Yeah. 
If we were in National Park, we'd have handrails. Yep. <laughs> the rats. The rats are coming. This is better. Oh, this is better. Oh, wow. Is that put there on a Yeah, yeah. Rats. That's left over from Halloween. <laughs> um, notice the walls are all brick. Yeah. And every once in a while, you'll have an opening. This is where the guys would sit and listen. If they heard somebody digging over there, they would take all this out to the ground and dig that way. Wow. And if they heard somebody digging over here, you can see all this is removed. So whenever you see a little opening, it's a listening source. Mm -hmm. they would prepare and defend the fort underneath here, these tunnels. <laughs> yeah, head towards the lake. Oh, look at this. Cool. down. Yeah, these tunnels are probably about five feet tall. Maybe. Four feet. Oh, how'd you get there? I think it's dead upstream. That was so cool. I want my sticker. Where'd I go? You made it. Oh, that was cool. And now you can stand yeah. up straight. Oh. oh, man, you guys are troopers. Yeah. All right. I hope you enjoyed the uh, tour of Fort Adams um, here in uh, Newport. Very fascinating. A lot of very interesting military history. Um, so I'll wrap it up for this adventure. Um, until next time, I hope you have uh, all your adventures fun and hope you're living your best life. So from Fort Adams here in Newport, Rhode Island, have a great day.